Hi, today I'll be showing you how to embellish a corked base. So you start with a corked base, uh, you take your Dremel, and you Dremel it into uh, sort of a natural fashion. You rough up the top and whatnot. Um, I don't like it to hang too far off the edge, like this one's been done, so I'm going to go ahead and clip that off. Okay, my cork just uh, came off, so you'll be able to see how to uh, glue that on. Really, it's quite easy. You just put giant wads of super glue on both sides, and you stick it on. Normally, you'd wait overnight for that to dry. Um, but uh, we don't have time for that, so away we go. Uh, you want two types of texture. You want a fine texture, like a Games Workshop uh, gravel, I think is what they call it. And then a coarse texture. These can be either uh, little rocks that you get out of your yard. Um, I found uh, little anthill rocks are a really good size. The ants don't like rocks that are just right. Um, also, kitty litter uh, works. So what you do is you take your super glue and you put glue into the areas where you want your... Can you come in a little closer here? Put glue into the areas where you want your rocks. You put it up top, too. This is a good chance to disguise um, the tab on the model's foot. And uh, then basically you just take it through your mix like this. Uh, this mostly gets smaller gravel on it. And then... Uh, intuitively, you would put the glue on first and then drop the rock in it. I found the opposite is really the best way. Now, you don't want to do this before the small gravel because you'll get large glue. Uh, you see, you'll get glue all over the large rock, and then when you dip it through, all the little rocks will kind of swarm over it, and that's not what you want. So you put a few on here in an attractive, natural pattern. You're looking for something that looks like they maybe fell that way naturally. Um, I'm just going to put on these two, and then basically you just uh, put glue on top of those, and it kind of cements them down real nice. If you want, you can get your catalyst and either spray it or dab it on, and that'll cement it uh, right away. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, looks like I need some more glue. The cork tends to absorb the glue, so sometimes you got to put a lot on. Now, uh, for branches... Um, I thought it'd be fun to put maybe like a little fallen log on here. There's a slot on the base that's still showing through in some spaces here. You definitely want to cover that. You see there's a little hole there. So I'm just going to put this little uh, fallen log thing on there. Same method as with the rock. I put it where I want it, and then I just let the glue kind of do its job there. I love these disposable glues, by the way. Sometimes they'll dry, so you just want to take your clips or whatever and uh, take off that uh, little crustified tip there. There we go. You'll notice I did some on the palette. That's to make sure that it's flowing. You don't want to squeeze it and then have it uh, um, go all over the place. So there you go. There's an embellished uh, cork base. Thank you.